फ्रेंड्स लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन कोप्लेनर कॉन्करेंट फोर्सेस सो हियर द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन टू अस ए स्ट्रिंग ए बी सी डी सो वी गॉट अ स्ट्रिंग ए बी सी डी अटैच टू फिक्स पॉइंट्स ए एंड डी व्हिच इज अटैच टू फिक्स पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट डी हैज टू इक्वल वेट्स ऑफ वन थाउजेंड न्यूटन अटैच टू इट एट बी एंड सी सो एट पॉइंट बी and at point c there are two equal weights of 1000 newton each are attached the weights rest with the portion ab and cd inclined at angle shown in the figure so due to application of weight this kind of configuration is formed where this angle is 120 degree with the vertical you can see okay and this angle is 60 degree and this angle is 30 degree find the tension in the portion ab bc cd of the string so we have to find the tension in the portion of ab bc cd of the string if the inclination of the portion bc with the vertical is 120 degree so they have given the bc is inclined with the vertical at 120 degree so again this is the question of coplanar concurrent forces so we have to find the tension in the each portion of the string so in this particular problem first of all we'll take point c and we'll try to find the tension in the portion cd and bc then we'll take point b and then we'll try to find the tension in the portion ab so first of all i'll draw the free body diagram of point b so i'll first draw the free body diagram of point c so we have got point c here friends you can see so if you see here this is the point c friends and the weight is acting at point c is the weight i am going to call w as 1000 newton okay now this is point c and this is going to be point d let's say so this angle which is made with the vertical this angle is given as 60 degrees so this angle is 60 degrees friends okay similarly this point is going to be point b so the vertical line if i draw over here this angle is given as 120 degree friends so by geometry we can easily say that this angle is going to be 60 degree because overall angle is going to be 180 so it is 60 degrees now okay so we are getting this angle is 60 degree this angle also 60 degree now if i draw a horizontal line here passing through point c you can easily understand that this angle is going to be 30 degrees and this angle also is going to be 30 degree by geometry okay because this is 60 so this is going to be 30 because addition of these two has to be 90 degrees okay so we are able to get these two angles this is 30 this is 30 and this angle the remaining portion angle this angle will be so out of 180 we got 60 so it is going to be 120 degrees so this angle is going to be 120 degrees okay so we are able to find out all the angles so here this angle is 90 degrees this angle is going to be 90 degree friends and this side angle is also going to be 90 degrees okay so we are able to find all the angles in this particular configuration right so i can easily apply the lamis theorem to find out the tension in this portion that is tension in the cd we can apply the lamis theorem to find the tension in the portion cd that is tension in cd this one as well as tension in this portion that is bc tension in the portion bc that is very simple so this is point c so i can apply lamis theorem at point c so by lamis theorem we can write down weight weight divided by sin of angle opposite to this particular vector this particular force so sin 120 equals tension in the portion bc uh, the angle opposite to this particular force is going to be this angle so 90 plus 30 is 120 so sin 120 similarly tension in the portion cd divided by the angle will be this angle again sin 120 so if you simplify this you will get tension in the portion bc i am considering this term and this term together so tension in the bc divided by sin 120 will be equal to weight weight is 1000 newtons divided by sin 120 again so it's very simple friends sin 120 will be cancel out so from here straight forward you will get tension in the string bc is going to be 1000 newton straight forward friends if you see here tension in the cd divided by sin 20 is again weight divided by sin 120 so this also will be giving you same value because 120 sin 120 sin 120 will be cancel out so tension in the cd will also be equal to weight so we can write down that also so similarly tension in the portion cd is also equal to weight that is 1000 newtons so this way we got tension in the portion bc tension in the string bc 
and the tension in the string CD. Now the remaining is we have to find tension in the portion AB. So what I will do is I will draw the free body diagram of point B. Okay. So now we will take free body diagram of point B considering free body diagram of point B. So if I draw free body diagram of point B, it will be something like this friends. This is going to be point B let's say. This is going to be point A and this is going to be point C. So this angle which is made with the vertical line this angle is this angle is 30 degrees and here if you see this here if you see this vertical line this angle is 120 degrees so this angle is going to be friends 60 degrees okay and at this particular point at point b there is a vertical load so at point b there is a vertical load of 1000 newton acting so w equal to 1000 newton this point is point C. So we have tension in the portion BC, tension BC, and we have tension over here in this portion of the beam as tension AB. Okay. So now we need to find all the angles between the respective forces. This angle we got as 60, friends. This angle, if you see, since this is 30, this is also going to be 30, friends. Okay. So this is 30, this is 30, so this angle is going to be 150 degrees, okay. So this angle from here to here, this angle is going to be 150 degrees. So this angle we got 130, uh, 150 degrees, this angle we got 60 degrees and here 120 plus 30, that is going to be 150 degrees, okay. So if you make the angles properly, this angle is going to be 150 this is going to be 150 because this is 30 here 120 plus 30 150 and this is 60 so all three angles we got so by Lamy's theorem we will get tension in the portion BA divided by sine 60 because opposite angle is 60 equals tension in the portion BC divided by sine 150 and that is weight divided by if you see the angle opposite to the weight is 120 plus 30 that is 1, 150 so sine 150 degrees okay so if you solve this particular equation if i take this particular term and this term you can find out tension in the ba therefore tension in the portion ba is going to be weight weight is 1000 sine 150 into sine 60 so that will give you tension in the portion ba as 1732 newtons similarly if you take this particular term tension in the bc divided by sine 150 equal to weight divided by sin 150 you will get value of tension in the BC but if you see here sin 150 is common it will cancel out so tension in the BC will be equal to the weight therefore tension in the BC will be same as same as what weight which is 1000 Newton which we have already calculated okay so we have already calculated the, the value of tension in the BC so this way we are able to calculate tension in the portion CD which is 1000 Newton tension in the portion BC which is 1000 Newton and the tension in the portion BA that is 1732 Newtons. So by using Lamy's theorem you can easily solve this particular problem. Okay. Thank you very much.